let's talk about the GCP pricing calculator. Now, it's it's of course apparent that it's you know fairly simplistic just by looking at it. But what I'd like you to do is just take a look at it and understand how certain services such as App Engine, Kubernetes Engine, and BigQuery, for example, are priced. This is uh, where on the exam they they seem to like to ask about, for example, BigQuery. So let's take a look at BigQuery. BigQuery is priced via two subscription models. There's an on-demand and a flat rate. One of the things to keep in mind is if it's on-demand, you're going to pay based on the region, the storage pricing, and the query pricing. The flat rate is a little bit more inclusive. It's based on the uh, query throughput, the number of queries, and if you select this, it tells you more about uh, the pricing that's uh, included in what's called the flat rate plan. And this is, of course, based on the region that you select. Now, the storage pricing is additional in both subscription models, and I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. You may get a question that's going to ask about BigQuery and what is additional um, to the BigQuery subscription, and that would be storage. But once again, it depends on what they're asking on the question. Storage is additional for both plans, so that's easy to remember. And if it's a flat rate, everything else is pretty inclusive. On demand, you're going to pay for queries and storage as well. With that said, let's go ahead and move on 